I was involved in the running of a crash with my wife Geraldine and we closed that business down in 2008 due to the recession starting off. Never really went to third level education as such. So I applied for the National Learning Network Horticulture course and had an interview and was successful and had the opportunity to start in September 2010. I spent about 30 years engineering and then it was made redundant and then I got sick and then that changed all my life and I was reading the paper one day and I just seen the, an ad for the National Learning Network and uh, kind of jumped up at me doing and then it was horticulture course. I said, thought I was very, very lucky to get in on this because it was, it was something new for me to go into that line. In Athlone we have seven different training programmes available to our learners but they all have one common theme and that is that we provide training to people who are disadvantaged who are marginalised, who may have mental health problems or a learning difficulty, but they have an opportunity to access training and get their foothold in a training environment. We work closely with Athlone and Tidy Towns. We developed some residential areas. We planted ash trees in certain areas. We also worked on roundabouts at the main junctions coming into town where we put signs, welcome to Athlone, Falcha, Given that some people have had bad experiences in their previous lives and in previous education, National Learning Network offers learners the opportunity to work in an environment where they feel safe and comfortable and can work at their own pace. These are critical factors in the feedback we get from our learners. When I came here to the National Learning Network, I knew nobody here in the building or none of the people on the course and they didn't know what backgrounds they came from. But we had very, very good instructor Seamus and he gelled us all together and we've got some very, very good projects done here out around the town of Athlone for the tidy towns and here in the centre itself. Employer-based training is a course I'm on at present. Uh, I work with St Hilda's Services. We cater for 17 houses throughout Athlone and I would be part of the horticultural team. It gives us a great opportunity to develop the skills we learnt with the National Learning Network. And I've learned so much. I hope in the future that I'll be able to set up my own business in horticulture and maybe employ some people in the future as well. I never thought I would actually look at working in an outdoor career because all of my previous life has been indoors, working in offices and stuff like that. But it's great to be outdoors and I love it. I don't think I'll go back in. When people are leaving us, if they have self-esteem and confidence, and if they have the potential to set and achieve goals, and if they have built a range of supports in their life, then they are well equipped to progress and sustain that progression. The well itself is called, as you see, a wishing well. But also I've wrote on it is trust and believe. Well, it's like everything else, we all have wishes. And if we do trust and believe that these wishes will come true, they will come true. I wished for this and I got it. <laughs>